Next up, the 128. So here we go. And we'll see if it fires up. Right, switching her on. We have a light. And we got Jiffy Doss. Yay! But none of the kernels are, are active. All right, and see if we can uh, see if any of the. Uh... Oh, oh, keyboard is working. B. Mm. Here we go. Right, let's do a. Uh... So admittedly this is only going to be testing the 64 aspect of it. And it looks like it's working. Let it run through the screen, get to do everything, and then we'll get it to do the doctor one. In fact, we'll get it to do the doctor one, it's quicker. So B, Doctor 64, go. Here we go. Cool. Right, let's see if it drops. So go one, two, eight. Oh. Let's switch that off. We'll take the Jiffy DOS out. Let's see if it boots into the one, one to eight. There we go. So go one, two, eight. Does it go? Go 64 into 64. Yeah. Go 128. Ah, so we can't go back. Well, at least it works. I finally got myself a uh, Commodore 128. Lovely. Hello, John here again. I've had this come through the door today. So I thought I would uh, show you what I've got this time. It is incredibly well packed. And the reason for it is... I have... A Commodore 128 case and keyboard that looks brand new. There is no, as you can see inside, there is no motherboard. It's just the case. And the reason I bought it is because you guys know that... Oh, it's even got a label on it. Must be an old... You guys know I've just recently come in possession of a Commodore 128 and it's a little bit yellowed, especially the keyboard, way yellowed. But what I want to do is I'm going to take the motherboard out of the 128 that's in, in the other case and I'm going to put it in this. And then I'll have a Commodore 128 that looks almost brand new. So I thought I would just give you a quick update of what it is and then when I've done it I will plug it into the TV so you can see and switch her on with the motherboard in the new in, in the new case. 
and I'll see you later. Take care. Bye. Hello, John here again. Here we go, the two 128s. So that's the empty case, and that's my 128 that I got the other day. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the motherboard out of this one and put it into this one. Because as you can see, this one, well that one looks brand new. And this one, as you can see, the keyboard's a little bit yellowed and stuff like that. So I'm gonna take the gubbins out of this, out of this one. Yeah, I should be able to do that. And then I'm gonna put it in to here. Cause like I say, this looks brand new. So the next time you see them together, hopefully the motherboard's out of there and in there, and this is an empty case. All right, I'll see you in a bit. Wish me luck. Bye. Hello, John here. Right, I have, as you can see, I've swapped over the cases for the motherboard and I'm just doing it a test before I seal it up because as you can see, it's not sealed up yet. Um, and I haven't broke it. It is okay. It doesn't seem to... Uh, have an adverse issue doesn't help with this sh the uh, shift lock on that's better um, Machine code monitor. Excellent. Right, I'm just going to screw it up, do one more test, and I'll see you in a bit. Take care. Right, I've sealed her up. I'm just about to turn the power on, and I've put the uh, Doctor 64 cartridge in, so it should boot up to the Doctor 64. So here we go. Test the keyboard out, make sure everything's working. Right then, second row. Try the control. Third row. Fourth row. Well, I ain't broke it. Forget about them. There we go. Everything's okay. But there you go. Swapped it over. And it looks like brand new now. And it's cost me less to do that than it did if I'd bought a... Um, 
not so new one on its own. I'll see you later. Take care, bye.